We have had this collapsible bucket for all four plus years that we've been on the road. This drying rack has worked out really well. It's lightweight and it rolls up small enough, Just I just stick it under. We bought this mat like four years ago. It's got a skid-proof backing, it comes in a lot of different Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Uh, this isn't going to be a traditional travel video. Today we're going to do a video about 12 things that we took on the road with us that we thought would enhance our life. They're not like essential items. They're more like simple items that make this lifestyle a little easier, more efficient, or just kind of like levels it up a bit. So they're, you know, they're just um, things that we've enjoyed in this lifestyle. We're not affiliated with any of these products. We bought them with our own money. We just think they're great and maybe you'll enjoy them too. So watch the video and at the end, let us know what your favorite was. This drying rack has worked out really well. It's lightweight and it rolls up small enough. Just, I just stick it underneath the sink, but it, um, it fits perfectly here. If you get one, make sure that you measure perfectly because uh, it's a snug fit. And then don't throw away the packaging until you confirm that it's gonna work out for you. I like that it still, I still have access to the sink and I can rinse the dishes over here. And then I used to use towels or a dish drying mat over here. And this is so much better because it saves on laundry. This little step stool has been awesome. It's lightweight, easy to fold, and it's so helpful when you want to get to that back end without dropping everything like I used to. This is where a pot and pans is stored, and it is no joke getting back there, I'll tell you. So this little stool, I don't even hesitate. I just take it out and I use it. <laughs> okay. When I'm done, that easy. These are called marriage savers. Uh, they're Midland walkie talkies. They supposedly have a 30 mile range, but I don't think we've ever seen anything even close to that. But uh, we use them for when we're pulling into a site. Louise will get out and kind of guide me. And uh, it saves a lot of aggravation in terms of shouting out the windows or using a cell phone that with a cell service might not be that good. And these come in really handy. They're probably about $60 or so. This particular color is not available on Amazon any longer and they don't know when they're gonna get them back. They do have decent range. They also have built-in NOAA weather alerts. We've never had any problems with them. They always seem to work for us. The only drawback to them is that you have to put them in a, a charger to charge them and it plugs into AC power. Uh, but you can also pull a, the battery pack out and just replace it with AAA batteries. So that, that can come in handy sometimes if the batteries start to give out. We've also used them for when Luis follows me in the Jeep if we're going through uh, an area where we're going to have steep grades. We'll disconnect the Jeep. She'll take one of these with her and we can communicate as we're driving down the road. Oh, we really like these. These are, these are very handy. We call them marriage savers uh, simply because we've actually seen firsthand people backing into a site and uh, one partner or the other is shouting at the other one and before you know it, they're not having a good time. We like to have a good time, so we bought these right after we bought the RV. I think we bought these in July of 2019. So the, these are a little over five years old and uh, they are still working very well. We're really happy with them. A little helpful hint in using these is to use the terms passenger side and driver side when we, you're being guided into your spot. Uh, that way there you don't get confused by left and right, which can sound like other directions. 
uh, driver's side, passenger side, works pretty well. We bought this mat like four years ago. It's got a skid proof backing, it comes in a lot of different colors and a lot of different sizes. And we have absolutely loved it. Every time it washes really easily, it shakes out really well. It grabs the, the mud and anything left on your shoes before you get into the RV. It's been fantastic. We like it so much we bought another one for the bathroom. These are the Kori wheel covers. This is our second set of these in the last five years. I bought them when we first bought the RV and the first set lasted almost three years, I think. The sun really beats them up and I guess that's good because they are protecting the wheels from the same damage, I would think. Um, but that's why we use them is to, to protect our tires from, from the sun and the elements to hopefully extend the life of the tires. The first set started uh, ripping. Uh, the fabric was starting to give way, mostly due to the weather wearing out the fabric. The combination of UV rays and constant exposure to rain and wind and dust, they, they eventually just started to rip and uh, developed little holes in them. So we, get, we bought the same version, the same ones we had before, and we're hoping to get at least three years out of these. We have had this collapsible bucket for all four plus years that we've been on the road. I thought that it would show signs of stress after a while because of the collapsing and uncollapsing. It has not. It has held up so well. We really like it. We bought this one at the container store. The link will be below, but I'm sure that you can find them elsewhere. This particular one fits perfectly in our sink. And when we're boondocking, we use it to do the dishes so that we can just get rid of the gray water and not fill the tank. After a long hike, yeah, Epsom salts and warm water to soak your feet. Perfect size for that too. George has used it a lot outside for washing things you know, like spots on the RV, bugs and such. And um, it's, very, it's really come in handy, but I like because it doesn't take up much space and we can just store it whenever, wherever we have space. Done. Our 2019 Winnebago view comes with built-in sunshades on the windshields and on the side windows. We don't like to use them very often. They're a little on the fragile side, but they're, they're very convenient to use. When we're stopping for one night, we'll just, we'll use these. They're easy to deploy. They're just not very rugged, so I'm, I'm afraid that if we used them constantly, we'd probably wear them out. So we use these aftermarket shades. We started with an outside one. I liked it a lot. It protected the windshield from rain coming off the uh, overhead and leaving streaks on the windshield. And it also uh, covered the windshield wiper blades and pr protected them from the sun. I liked it a lot. The only real drawback to it was that it had magnets on, on the corners that would attach to the doors, the outside of the doors. Those magnets up against the door in the fabric of the cover was causing some scratching to happen on the doors. So I didn't really like that. We used it for about two and a half years and then it started to uh, wear out. The Velcro straps that went around the mirrors were starting to rip and the issue with the magnets uh, was starting to cause a problem. So we decided to look for another solution and we found these. They're very lightweight. They're kind of like reflexit material and they fit very nicely in our windows. They're easy to install. They simply insert into the space. They have a, a little suction cup that kind of holds it up against the window. The only drawback we found with these is that the little handles that they put on the suction cups, if you use those to pull them off, they, they tend to break. So I've gotten into the habit of just kind of reaching behind it and 
removing the suction cup with my fingers. And these, uh, these are pretty easy to install. And we've been using them for almost two years. We got them in October of 2022 off of Amazon and I'll put a link in the description below. They seem to be standing up pretty well. Uh, the wear and tear on them is not as bad as I expected when I first got them. When I first opened them up I thought well these are pretty lightweight but they seem to be doing very well. The only thing I don't like about the windshield cover is that they actually carved out uh, a section for a rear view mirror. Now, we don't have a rear view mirror on a Winnebago view, but uh, they did include that. We didn't really need that part of it. I wish they would have squared it off. It would block a little bit more light, but we put a piece of black felt in that space and that keeps any light from coming in. These sloggers are great. They're so easy to slide on and off and they keep my feet dry, clean, and it's great no matter what the conditions are. Sometimes it's just wet grass from the morning dew, other times it's mud. These things are awesome and it keeps the inside really clean and you don't have to worry about taking them on and off. They come in lots of adorable colors and patterns and if you do get them, size up at least a half a size up because you want them to be able to slide on and off. They probably aren't very good for narrow feet either because, you know, they're wider. I like mine because they match my raincoat. Keeping an RV clean can be a challenge. So even the little things can matter. These step mats have been awesome. You can take them off and shake them out, but they, I originally got them for safety because um, these can get very slippery when it, they're wet. So um, they're great for safety, but they also have the added benefit of taking some of the things off your shoes before you go in. They come in a lot of different sizes, a lot of different colors. We got them at the show, but you can pick them up at a lot of camping supply stores. Just make sure you've got the measurements of your steps before you do. There's a little spring-loaded hook system in the back so that they can come off very easily for when you want to rinse them off or shake them. You should still hold on to a railing when you step out of your RV, but this cuts down on that slip factor a lot. We bought these steer mat at the Tampa RV show back in 2021. They've really stood up well. We've been very happy with them. We highly recommend them. This is the Alps Mountaineering Camp Table. We bought this uh, around the same time that we bought the RV, probably that same summer, 2019, and it has stood up very well to our use. It has no defects in it at all. It works very well, very easy to set up. You just expand these legs, set it down on the ground, there's two poles that snap in and then the top. And slide into the ends here. Yeah, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's all aluminum. The, the aluminum top get marks on it and some grease and stuff, but we found that using a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on it with a little Dawn dish detergent, and it cleans it up so it looks brand new. This is another one of our favorite things, Solo Stove. We bought this in the spring of 2021, right after our first volunteer project in Tennessee, where we got to see one of these in actions with our own eyes. When they say they're smokeless, they pretty much are smokeless. Once you get the fire going, uh, there's very little smoke. This is our second case. The first case that came with the solo stove wore out in about two years. 
Uh, it gets a lot of abuse, actually. I mean, it's a fairly heavy thing. It's got a lot of sharp edges on it, so the fabric can't expect to last forever. But uh, so this is our second bag. This bag seems to be standing up a little bit better than uh, the original one did. It seems to be a little bit thicker and it's got more handles on it, so I think that helps. The solo stove itself is showing some wear. It's exposed to a lot of heat, but it's stainless steel. As you can see, you know, it's been well used and is in remarkably good condition. This is probably one of our favorite things. It's a 17 inch Blackstone griddle. Uh, we bought this about the same time that we bought the RV in the summer of 2019. And uh, we chose a griddle because we felt we could cook much more different kinds of food on it than we could on a grill. This is a 17 inch Blackstone griddle and it shows a little bit of rust on the bottom. That's where all the heat goes. But the surface is well seasoned and I don't have any problems with stuff sticking. Came with this little grease bucket and uh, the burners look almost new. I mean, they've taken the wear and tear very well. Griddle top just sits on top of the, the base like so. And the grease bucket goes in the back. Our motorhome didn't come with a propane quick connect, so I installed one. Uh, we have a propane generator, and it was an easy task to put a T in the propane line and extend a propane quick connect into this storage bay here. And then I use a 12 foot propane hose with another quick connect on the end. And then we use this small adapter that attaches to griddle. So we don't have to use those one pound Coleman propane tanks anymore. So what did you think? Did you see any items in that list that you liked? Uh, leave us a comment below. And uh, Louise, what was your favorite item? Mm -hmm. I think I, yeah, I like the Blackstone griddle. Blackstone griddle? You never use the Blackstone griddle. You know, when we use the Blackstone griddle, you usually do most of the cooking. That's why I like it so much. <laughs> okay, yeah, I get it. You know what? The Blackstone griddle is my favorite as well. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> we, we've cooked some fabulous meals on that griddle. Agree, agree. That, that we, we've really enjoyed some... Uh, Great stir fries and fried rice and breakfast. breakfast items. Yeah, yeah, some good stuff. So leave us a comment below if you like this video. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs up and comment yep. helps. See you next time.